Hi there, my name's Edgar. When you update to Salon by Premier Software, you may want to know what will happen to any outstanding prepayments. For example, if a client has made a prepayment on their account, but hasn't redeemed the total value, then what happens to the remaining amount? Today, I will show you how to resolve this. First, log into reception. You will need to process the prepayment value. To do this, head to the Tilling tab at the top and then click Client Sale. Using the search fields on the next screen that appears and the methods such as their surname, address or contact email, locate the client you wish to add prepayments for. Once found, click to highlight them. If they're yet in the system, you will be able to click the green plus button to add them anew. Click the green tick to head to the billing screen. Here, click the prepayment icon. This will then appear in the top box. Head to the unit price box and click this. You can then type in a value of the prepayment. Once entered, click the green tick to head to the payment screen. You can then select a method of payment. In this instance, we have selected cash. Click the green tick once done. Now, if you need to take any prepayment value off in refund, you can head back to the billing screen using the same pathway. Click the prepayment icon. In the unit price box, put a minus in as well as the value you wish to refund. In this example, we're refunding £50 of prepayment to balance it out to what the client had before the system upgrade. When you're ready, click the icons in the till messages section and then the green tick. On the payment screen, you can then select the method of refund, in this case, cash. Click the green tick to finalize any details. The updated prepayment value will then show in the client card under the account tab. I hope that helps. For more salon content, why not subscribe to us on YouTube? You can also click the notification bell to receive updates as soon as videos become available. We also have several social media networks for you to follow for regular Premiere software content. In the meantime, check out our other helpful videos and I'll see you next time.